My name is Nick Simpson and I work in the mechanical equipment development branch. I worked on a project called Combined PTCT, uh, and the PTCT is for pressure tube and calandria tube. I worked with a team of mostly designers, but also lab techs here at Chalk River to design a tool for refurbishments. The tool itself, uh, this was a, a challenge kind of issued to us from our customer um, to, for, for the first time, remove both the calandria tube and the pressure tube and uh, with the spacer in between at the same time during uh, a refurbishment work uh, series. I'm Larkin Mosscrop and so I'm a project lead for SNG projects. So that covers anything from our can do owners group work to tool development, which is how I'm involved in this project. It was one of those things of we've always done it this way. And so when it came to thinking about it in a different way, so pulling the pressure tube and the calandra tube, it just kind of never happened because it wasn't the way we did it. And so when it started to think about ideas of how to improve, this was one of those and it really worked. So it's how we always did it and not anymore. Uh, we designed a tool to, to achieve that and by eliminating that work series, you save outage time. And outage time, the like common metric is about a million dollars a day. It's probably a little bit elevated from that uh, per unit that you refurbish. So at, at Darlington, where this tool was going to be used, that's you know $30 million-ish per unit, and they have three more units to do, so 90 million. If, uh, if this technology is employed elsewhere at other uh, reactor sites, then the benefit kind of grows. This is why, right? Like this, the MED team is able to do really creative work. And, you know, over here with the manipulators, we have the hot cell manipulators. So we can actually test something that we need in our hot cell facilities before we're even bringing it there. So it's not getting contaminated, it's getting tested in place. We do a ton of mock ups. So allowing us to actually in field test without going in field. And MED just is able to do that kind of on the fly kind of problem solving. So it worked out really well. We can certainly, you know, hope that uh, from the success of this first project that we can do it again at other, other utilities.